Nice to see you there. It's been a minute. I hope you have one. Because today, folks, I'm going to tell you a tale. Today, the tale is actually about the character of Moon Knight. Why Moon Knight, though? Huh? Okay, why Moon Knight? Well, this should be pretty obvious. Disney Plus just dropped their two-minute trailer during the playoff NFL game for their upcoming Moon Knight television series, starring Oscar Isaac, mega talent, superstar. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Lots of kicking, lots of slashing, lots of banging, lots of whiz banging, fights, I'm loving it all. But where did it all begin? We're gonna take a look at what I consider the seminal run. And that seminal run kept writer Doug Metch on board, but brought one super ingredient to the pot. Bill Sinkowitz. Bill Sinkowitz starts on issue one in 1980 and continues for a substantial amount of time. And the thing about Bill is that he's still active today, inspiring generations of artists with live seminars, live drawings, and classes to teach people how to create their own style and bring that to the Marvel Universe. Also, if I had to guess, Moon Knight number one and the ensuing issues will inspire much of the events that the writers had in store for the sub-television series that we're about to see. So ladies and gentlemen and viewers, let's get into a portal. Let's go to August 19, 1980. That's right, and she is a beaut. Just look at that cover. Again, with inkers Bill Sinkowitz, Frank Springer, and colorist Bob Sharon at the helm. This book looks incredible. Our story begins with mercenary Raul Bushman and his lieutenant Mark Spector as they lead a raid on a rebel camp in Sudan. Jean-Paul Franchet, du Champ, arrives in a helicopter and tells Spector that he has looked through Bushman's secret papers. The information confirms their resolve to quit working for Bushman. Frenchie also has their new orders, attack the village of Salima. But Mark Spector points out that there's no rebel activity there. Bushman has learned that there's an archaeologist who has found a tomb there and that they are going to loot it. That night, the mercenaries ride into Salima. Dr. Peter Elrond, the archaeologist, knows of Bushman and realizes why he's there. Taking up a dagger found in the tomb, he strides directly towards Bushman's back. Spectre warns Bushman and disarms Elrond. He watches Bushman kill Elrond with his steel teeth. But before he dies, Alron tells Spectre where to find his daughter. While Bushman admires the dagger, Spectre goes after Alron's daughter, Marlene. Spectre tells Marlene that her father is dead. She recognizes that he is mercenary and blames him. He says, yeah, I killed him, and I'll kill you unless you get out fast, woman. She gets in a jeep and she leaves. Later, Spectre finds Frenchie and tells him that they must follow Marlene, but he sees Bushman order the execution of innocent villagers. He has finally had enough. He attacks Bushman, who drops him with one punch and tells an underling to, to take him out in the desert and dump him. Let the sun, the heat, he despises so slay him. Mark Spectre wakes at dawn in the desert with no shelter and no water. He walks all day. At night, a storm comes up. Two Arabs spot him silhouetted against the moon and notify Marlene, carry him into the tomb of Pharaoh Seti and lay him out. She recognizes him. He deserves to be dead. And as far as Jalt can tell, he is dead. Now Marlene, with a moment to think, realizes that Spectre probably saved her life and is now paid for that mercy with his own life. Suddenly though, Spectre sits up. He is not sure who he is, but he knows the idol in front of him, Khonshu, a god of the moon, the taker of vengeance, a figure of terror. He puts on the idol's cloak. This produces one of my absolute favorite lines written by Doug Mensch in all of Moon Knight. I'm a ghost now, a specter of the moon, the moon's night of vengeance, and I got work to do. He drives Marlene's jeep into Salima. He knives two of Bushman's men and takes their grenades. Two trucks explode near the ammo dump. When the men investigate, the dump itself explodes. 
Only Bushman remains. Spectre confronts him. He hears a scream behind him. Marlene followed him, and Frenchie caught her. When Spectre turned around, Bushman has vanished. Marlene learns that Bushman, not Spectre, killed her father. And then Spectre collapses. We flash to the present. Spectre finishes dictating into a tape recorder. He tells Marlene that Bushman is active in New York and that he had a weird feeling about this, like he should tape the story of Bushman before he left. He also tells her to stay behind. Spectre, now as Jake Lockley, goes to the diner. He asks an informant, Bertrand Crawley, about a death's head medallion that was found during a heroin bust. It's the symbol of a new gang. Crawley tells him, run by someone named Bushman. He operates out in the open as if he wants to be found, he tells him. His base is near 99th in Amsterdam in Harlem. Frenchie in the new helicopter picks him up and takes him to meet Bushman. Spectre fails to notice a Mercedes following him. Moon Knight walks into the nightclub with no attempt at subterfuge. Tell your boss I'm about to walk into his trap, he tells them in the upstairs office as he handles a few thugs. Outside, the Mercedes pulls up and Marlene gets out. She wants revenge on Bushman as much as Spectre does. She walks into the office. Bushman fires at Spectre and misses. He then fires at Marlene though and hits. He knocks Spectre down. Spectre blocks Bushman's teeth with his truncheon and begins to beat him. Marlene regains consciousness. She convinces Spectre to stop him before he kills Bushman. I didn't want Bushman to spoil what he started, what you've made into a legend. They hear sirens and leave in the helicopter. The police walk in and find a silver crescent in the windowsill, casting its shadow across Bushman. That wraps up our look at Moon Knight number one by Bill Sinkovich and Doug Mensch. You're likely going to see some iteration of this origin and a lot of these characters in the upcoming television series. And I also hope that you seek out more work by artist Bill Sinkovich. He's done so much work across the spectrum. It is incredible. Thank you for watching. And guys, as always, it's been a comic book minute. Like, share, and comment, and subscribe, folks. And as usual, we'll see you on the next one.